Here are the 25 best mods for Project Sunwood in March 2022. Garbage Truck. This mod adds a working garbage truck to the game with proper animations. If you use the radial menu when you have items in the back, you can destroy them forever. If the back is at least half full, you'll get a trash cube to spawn. Fashionoid. Gear Transmog. With this mod, you can right-click any clothing to open the transmog menu. Over there, double-click the item you wish to visually change your current item to, and done. You can even do it to backpacks, belts, fanny packs, webbing sets, and similar containers. There's an option you can enable called Immersive Mode, which only lets you transmog into items you have found, and if you die, you have to look for the items again. Refrigerator Ice Cream Trucks This mod adds an ice cream truck to the game. It has a working music box. It even has a refrigerator that can keep your food cool. Anomalous Storm. This mod lets you experience a red rain at random times. It is heavily inspired by the emissions in the Stalker games. The storm is brutal and it will kill you. You can tweak the frequency in sandbox mode under the nature tab. Riding Mower. This mod basically adds lawn mowers to the game. Try driving over a zombie and see what happens. Tidy up master. When you dismantle an object, it may be a bit troublesome to equip all your gear again when you finish, especially if you have to use a welding mask. With this mod, after you finish working, you revert to your original equipment automatically, including both of your hands and your headgear. It works for things like carpentry, barricades, destroying walls, and more. Go karts. If you ever wanted to race with your friends, this mod adds drivable carts. You can pair this mod with the Redstone Raceway and have some fun. Craft skill box. This mod lets you help your friends level up a bit faster if you have already obtained a particular skill. It adds recipes that allow players to craft amateur skill books if their skill is high enough. They have 33% efficiency. Skill books provide different XP modifiers depending on your skill level. Dash Everest. This mod adds an off-road four-seater vehicle called Dash Everest. It's based on the 1875 Ford Bronco. The vehicle spawns in parking stalls, young shorts, trailer parks, and crash scenes. It includes four versions, normal, roadster, police, and ranger. Treads paint symbol. This mod adds 33 new symbols that you can paint on walls and signs. It also adds the ability to paint digits, letters, and some special characters. With this, you could mark houses you've already looted without having to pull up your map, for example. Or maybe put up a rifle sign in front of your weapon storage jet. Autotzar Motor Club. This mod is absolutely incredible. You can drive three different motorcycles, a quad bike, and a jet ski. The sheer quality of the models and animations is insane. Your character even looks over its shoulder when going in reverse. You can dive into the water from the jet ski. It's amazing. Scientific Weaponry. This mod adds seven new weapons from Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 2. AER-9 laser rifle, AEP-7 laser pistol, Gatling laser, anti-material rifle, thermic lens, M75 gauss rifle, PPK-12 gauss pistol. They have a rare chance of spawn in military zones and police stations. You can also find skill books to teach you how to craft them. 59 Cadillac Miller Meteor plus 801. This mod adds a new card to the game. It's upgradable and it even has a full armor set available. There's a Nectar one optional variant with all those features too. It has a fully animated hood, trunk lid, doors and windows, a visible interior and character, and all parts have 3D objects you can remove and place in the world. Handmade weapons. This mod adds the following manufacturable melee weapons. Combat rod, made with a branch or plank and a knife or sharpened stone. Stone hand axe, made with a branch, sharpened stone and a close strap. Wooden club, made with a log and a saw. Wooden club with nails, made with a wooden club, five nails and a hammer. Handmade baseball bat, made with two logs, a saw, chisel and carpentry level 6. Barbed wire handmade bat, made with a handmade bat, barbed wire and a hammer. Handmade bat with nails, made with a handmade bat, five nails and a hammer. Wooden sword, made with two logs, a saw, chisel and carpentry level 8. Barbed wire baseball bat, made with a normal baseball bat, barbed wire and a hammer. Also adds the possibility of sharpening stuff. 
stones using two stones and four units of water. M13's Reading Twigs. This mod adds an extra category to custom sandbox in single player that allows you to define how fast or slow your character reads books. This setting was available for multiplayer servers but not for single player. Soul filters freezing time. With this mod, you can collect snow using a bucket, cooking pot, paint bucket, or even a tin can. You can also have snowball fights. Rewarding night combat. This mod makes you gain bonus experience for combat skills between certain hours. By default, bonuses will be applied between 11 pm and 6 am. These are the default XP multipliers. You can customize the starting and ending hours for each season and bonus multipliers for all the combat skills to your liking. Also, you can enable or disable an indicator that shows the current applied bonuses. If you're looking for a challenge, you could pair this with the Night Sprinters mod, Clothing Preset. This mod allows you to save clothing presets, reload them, dress and undress in just a click. This is accessible from the protection page in the character menu. The removed clothes go to the target loot container. Happily never after. This mod adds a lot of missing models to the game. Belly button rings, radio receivers, radio transmitters, scanner modules, mags showing water, mags showing hot drinks, muffin trays, muffins in muffin trays, spatulas, carving forks, kitchen tongues, and much, much more. Berry Bird Z. This mod literally adds the Berry Bird from Fallout to Project Zomboid. It's a modified version of the helicopter from the better helicopter mod. Mod. There are three different spawn locations where you can find it. March Ridge Expansion. This mod adds an expansion to the northwest side of March Ridge. It expands in a 32 by 42 cell. It includes a school, a neighborhood with big luxury houses, a car dealership, a park, and more, Greenleaf. This mod adds a new town called Greenleaf to the game. It's located on a country road from Rosewood to Ekron. It includes a general store, a club, some offices, and more. Wild Berries. This mod has a commercial residential area located southwest of Riverside. There are office buildings, shopping centers, a police station, an old residential area, a rich industrial area, and a wooded area. It contains individual houses, an old church, a mansion in the woods, some markets, and more. Refillable lighters. With this mod, you can refill empty lighters with one unit of gas. Smoking Joe's Coolers. This mod adds working coolers to Project Zomboid. Adding items to the cooler will change its overall temperature, transferring energy to the items inside. Adding lots of cold items will keep things colder. Adding warm items will keep things warm longer. Frozen items in an insulated container container will stay frozen for longer. There are also two freezable ice packs for even more cooling time. The mod adds two cooler skins, an insulated backpack in six colors, ice packs in two sizes, and also makes lunchboxes keeps items cool or hot over time, at a much lower rate than proper coolers. If you'd like to be able to climb up ladders and fire poles or even tattoo yourself, check this video for the top 25 best mods of February. Thank you for watching.